Hey guys, 2384 Aviation here, and today I'm bringing you guys yet another video. Now today's video is a very special one. I just got my newest model in the mail. Now this model is actually a really rare model, and this model actually was ordered about two days ago, or not two, three days ago, and I wasn't expecting to get this. Um, what I was expecting to was to get another model in probably three or four more months but instead I got this model here and now it's gonna be two months until I get the next model when I go to Vegas so this model here is a pretty rare model and speaking of Vegas you'll see why what I mean in a minute this aircraft is actually based in Las Vegas you will be extremely surprised to what this is so we're gonna unbox the aircraft now this is a Gemini Jets release for, I can't remember which year it is, but I do know that this is not really a new model. Should be able to open this with ease. There we go. So, this model I have not opened inside, and there's about 30,000 packing peanuts inside here. And we have the piece of paper here that says what model I bought. This is actually from JetCollector.com. Actually, I'm really surprised I got this from JetCollector. I go on their website and get stuff, but um, as you guys know, I usually get my models on eBay, so I'm going to take some of these packing peanuts out. I don't have... Oh, I do. So I still have my other box from the United unboxing. I'm just going to use that United box as a packing peanut storage. I got like two boxes in here. All right, so I'm going to take out all these packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts, but at the same time, they are guarding the model that is inside of this box. This rare model that I really am happy I finally got. You guys will be so surprised about this model when I get to it. Now, hold on a moment. I got way too many packing peanuts in here. I really hate packing peanuts. I'm just going to... Hold on a minute. I'm just going to empty these out. Without ruining them all. And now there's 30 of them on my floor. Alright. So, got the box. Put it away. This is the model I am very excited to add to my collection. It is a Las Vegas Sands 747SP. I am utterly shocked I was able to get this model for so cheap. It costs a total... I was able to get it for $70. And... It's an amazing model. I'm so happy I finally got this. This is, again, by Gemini Jets. It doesn't seem to have any Gemini Jets branding on the box, except it does have this right here. So we're going to unbox the model now. So let's see. Let's see. So here's the model right here. The Las Vegas Sand 747SP. So with this model, uh, there is anything else on the box with specifications so let's get into the model and I do have my stand here so I'm going to be putting it on the stand nothing else inside the packaging and we have the model right here so I'm going to actually put it on the stand so y'all can see but wow I am amazed to have this model it is beautiful I'm going to zoom in for this one Hold it. move the knife out of view and the box. Wow, will you look at that beautiful Las Vegas Sands 747 SP. Now, with the 747 SP, you might be noticing a little bit of a trend. I am getting uh, private jets, or I have now a private jet, and I just got this model here. As you guys know, this is actually hubbed in Las Vegas. Now, my big news. I am not going to do Fort Lauderdale, even though that I planned to do it, and I never even did. It was a plan that failed, okay? That airport is no longer in session. Now, I'm changing that Fort Lauderdale to Las Vegas. So, we're going to be doing several airports again. Um, I'm going to repeat them again. Miami, San Francisco, now Las Vegas, Anchorage, and Milan, and also Cincinnati, Kentucky Northern. That's a big one right there, too. So, let's take a look at the Las Vegas Sands 747SP. I'm going to take it off the stand now. I'm going to zoom out so we can look at this. So, if you buy the Las Vegas Sands 747SP, this model here had set me back 
a total of $70. But this was actually on sale for 70 bucks. It was originally for the huge price of 110 bucks. Then I got the price, and then uh, the guy was selling it then for 100 and uh, no, not 100, uh, 76 bucks. And then I got the guy to lower the price to 70. So it was 76 bucks, got the guy lowered to 70. So I'm really happy I finally have this model. It's an absolute beast. I am also really shocked I finally have this model. Uh, because I wasn't even planning to do Las Vegas until I realized that you need to buy 30,000 Spirit Airlines aircraft for La Fort Lauderdale and JetBlue planes was a big one. But as you guys know, I do not have a thousand dollars to spend on Spirit and JetBlue planes. So instead, I'm going to be basically getting a lot more Southwest and a lot more Allegiant, and still maybe like one or two Spirits, since Las Vegas is a big Spirit hub. Um, I'm basically playing around with the aircraft, so I'm going to judge the aircraft on its appearances. So, the aircraft does have rolling landing gear, which is a really nice feature on this aircraft. I wasn't even thinking it was going to have rolling landing gear. Um, I do believe this is a... Um, there is no release date for this aircraft, or on the box. But yeah, so let's get into it again. Um, engines, I know these are the old engines. These are the ones I used on the 747-100 and the 200 series and the 300 for a short time. I think I believe these are the Pratt & Whitney engines that they've used on this aircraft. Um, the 747-SP, I do think I remember Kanye West had leased this aircraft from Las Vegas Sands, who is the operator of this aircraft uh, for a little while, I think this year. Um, Las Vegas Sands is the owner of the 747SP here. It is also the owner of another 747SP. They also do operate the A340-500, the 767-300s, a bunch of 737 fleets, and their Gulfstream fleet, which is a really cool uh, fleet, in fact. I've seen their 737s, though, which is utterly amazing, because... Nothing ever comes to San Francisco, as you guys know. That's special, but I do have some good news. I will probably be doing another plane spotting video pretty soon to show you guys. Um, I did get quite a few of the good catches at SFO um, of several aircraft, such as a SAS Star Alliance A340. I did get its takeoff, which is amazing takeoff, by the way. But, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below in the video. Also, another side note for this, a uh, very special side note. So, um, this special side note is, I, am again, will be doing Las Vegas International Airport, or McCarran International Airport. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing this in the next few months, but I am going to be selling the Russian aircraft fleet because I need to get a lot more, I need to replace those with current aircraft so this is why i was thinking so they are selling an a330 i believe or a 777 uh, 300er for aeroflot and i know i'm gonna replace the aeroflot il86 that i have with that aeroflot because i'm no longer going to be doing the russian airport uh the only other airport that's on the united states i'm going to be doing is milan and that's basically it maybe in the future i might do something else that's also in europe I was recently having a little bit of a venture into doing something Australian, since it would be kind of exciting to see, but uh, yeah. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below in the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at 2384 underscore aviation. Also make sure to follow, I do uh, want to apologize. I have now made the 2384 underscore plane spotting account my... Uh, backup account. So if you do not want to follow that and you do want to see plane spotting picks, they're all on 2384 uh, underscore aviation. I also have my Gemini Jets account, which is going to be for my fictional airport, which is only done on Instagram, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to be keeping those, uh, the international, real international airports. But the one in airport I have for Instagram is fly underscore KSIA, which is supposed to be Shasta International Airport. It's a fake airport, by the way. But uh, yeah. Next, I also have, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of all the Instagrams because I have two of those. And then I have another one that I just made that I might 
you know, I'm not going to mention that. It's okay uh, with that one. But also make sure to follow me on Twitter at 2384 underscore aviation. And yeah, that seems to be it. So thank you guys for watching again. I'm 2384 aviation, and I shall see you in the next video.